Wait, really? what happens next? That's no more. Yeah. <laughs> I've come to Istanbul to experience a haircut in Turkey, which, let me assure you, is unlike anything I have ever done. Oh God, I look like a dog when they're getting a dog or a cat when they're getting a bath. In fact, Turkish barbers are known around the world for their strong work ethic and attention to detail. They also find hair in places you didn't even know existed. Where in the world that's more better? <laughs> There is nowhere in the world that is better for a haircut than Turkey. And clearly, I need one. So a year and a half ago, I was in Turkey. I randomly Googled barbershop here in Istanbul. I found this guy and it was one of the best haircut experiences I have ever had. So now I've come back and I'm gonna go see him. What's up? Merhaba, how you doing? I can honestly say my hair has never looked so crazy before. So now it's time to see if I can be fixed. <laughs> he said I look like a mess, a genuine mess. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Clean. Oh, okay. So they have to do an intense clean before, in between customers. <laughs> This is NS. He is 30 years old and he used to work at another barber shop, but then he decided to break out on his own, becoming an entrepreneur. Maybe not that Turkish. Just say you're the expert, you decide. That's basically bald. <laughs> Yeah, but that's like a zero. For him, this isn't just a job or a career. It's his passion. I've never seen a barber give themselves a trim in between their customers. I ask him if the plunge in Turkey's currency is impacting him, but he doesn't seem that bothered by it even though he imports goods and those have become more expensive. Higher inflation means his revenue is just overall less valuable. But one reason that he's not that impacted is probably because he's so in love with his business. He says his customers are so loyal and that's ultimately what fuels his passion. Inez used to work for some of the highest profile barbers in Turkey, but after 15 years, he knew it was time to start his own business and become an entrepreneur. And for him, this isn't just about getting customers in and out to make money. From the moment I walked in to the moment I left, it took three hours. Of course, that includes a lot of talking and tea breaks too. Guys, that was quite painful, but quite fun as well. Thank you for watching. So I thought this was done, and then he started putting a clay mask on my face and something on my forehead. What's crazy about a Turkish haircut is you never know what you're gonna get next. You think you're just in for a haircut, but it's so much more than that. The term Turkish barber is growing massively popular in the UK. Turkish barbers have a reputation around the world. Oftentimes, you can expect a hot towel shave, beard trimming, and even nose hair trimming. Um, that whole experience for all of that was about $30, and I've been here for about three hours. Okay, even though this is a lot of money for a haircut in Turkey, a similar experience in London or LA would cost me at least $80. What's up, guys? Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. While you're at it, check out more of my vlogs here in Turkey. Subscribe to my channel and find me online at Aptin.